on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass. Slab on everything. Swimming, you shaking away. Cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. Hi, YouTube family. It's your girl, Young Beauty, back with another tutorial. So I'm absolutely in love with the way that this look turned out. I am going to make this video two parts. So the eyes and the lips are going to be one part and this contour and highlighting is going to be a whole nother video, okay? Because I want you guys to really get the nitty gritty of how I highlight and contour and just my old time skincare routine, you know? So if you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video and my channel and hit the bells on the next time I upload. And if you're a returning subscriber, then you know how we get down. So let's get into this tutorial. All right, y'all. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take our e.l.f. pomade to fill in our brows. Then I'm going to take my P. Louise base in 3, 4, and 5 to clean up my brows and to prime my eyelids. So now we're going to take our exquisite eyeshadow palette. It's in the number 35 Y if you go to her website. And I'm going to take that orange, a uh, brown, and then a black shade. But the orange did not give me off an orange, orange tone. So I went back in with my Morphe 3503 palette and grabbed that really vibrant orange to put right on top of that. So now I'm going to go ahead and take that brown shade and I'm going to pack that right into my crease area and then blend the shade a little upward so that the orange and the brown blend seamlessly. Now I'm going to go ahead and deepen up my crease with that black shade and I'm not going to take a lot of black at one time because I really want to blend it out and build it up and I don't want that color to just sit in one spot. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a Q-tip to clean up that excess shadow that is on my lid so that none of that color transfers when I start to cut my crease. Then I'm going in with my P. Louise base in rumor number one and it is time to cut that crease y'all. While cutting my crease, I was a little uncensored just because I was trying to look at my crease from every angle just to make sure that the crease looked it perfect when I looked at it in a photo just as well as when I looked at it on my own. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe 40 palette and I'm going to take that white gold dish shimmer and then I'm going to take a vibrant gold shimmer and we're going to pack those on our lid. Now to take this look one step further, we're going to go ahead and add a white and a gold pigment on top of those shimmer colors just to give it an extra little pop.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Wet n Wild Mega Liner and do a semi-liner or a half liner. I don't really know what you would kind of call these type of liners. Alright y'all, so now we're going to go ahead and take 25mm lashes and pop them bad boys on to complete this bomb look. Now I'm going to take my Exquisite Kisses Matte Lipsticks in Hot Cocoa and Ravishing Red to create the perfect ombre look. You can do this with just a regular brown liner and lipstick if that's what you have on hand. Alright y'all, so this is the finished look. This look definitely can work for multiple occasions, okay? Not just prom, not just an outing, just if you want to be a regular glam doll like me, then definitely this look will be it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell so the next time I upload, and I will see you guys in my next tutorial.